Hey guys, Drazrak TCG here from Instagram, doing a video for GMG News. So, uh, we're in the Geek Lab in Swanson, and I just kind of met up. They just thought I would show you my card folder. So this is stuff, stuff that I've been working on. So I've been collecting since last May. Yep. Cyber Guardian Rising. Nearly done it. Just need a full art Tapu Lele. Let me know if you've got one for trade. So I've got a couple of things here. I've got 29 Hyper Rares, all individual, wow. with a couple of... They are very pretty. They, they are super rainbow, aren't they? Yeah, yes. my personal favourite one definitely is Metagross, because he's my favourite Pokemon. Okay. Then probably Lele and Silverly. And then you've obviously got Chari down there. Yep, uh, the original 151, who's your favourite? I know most people say Charizard. It is Charizard, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, he is, because I've got my separate... Well, I have a Charizard collection, but uh, here's oh, wow, a bit of interesting information. If you have one of these, you want to yeah. pay very special attention to that. If you can see that, Ooh, yep. can you see that there's a little bit of engraving? Little, yeah, I can see that little circle. Yeah, so basically, if you have one of those, that's a misprint, so they fix this. They're no longer printing them like that now. So, so that means it's worth more money, I take A it. lot, yeah. So basically, he's normally worth about 95 to 120 pounds normally by himself, because he's the hyper-rare Charizard, I have to say. He's the flagship card of the set, basically. But in the first six months of printing, they did them like that. That's been fixed now. So they're not going to come anymore. So he's about three hundred dollars in America. So it's about two hundred and twenty pounds on average. So it varies a little bit. But keep an eye out. It's worth quite okay. a bit of money at the moment. Pretty cool. Um, moving on, I've got a Charizard collection going here. So yeah. hypers would uh, normally be there. Yeah. But uh, here's my flagship one. I've got a first wow. edition Zard. That is lovely. That just reminds me back in the day when I had that myself. Oh, I know. Really irritated, actually. Little story for you. I had uh, quite a few of these Team Rocket cards now. Um, we were like when I was young, I was quite poor. So what my mum did was when I started Sorry, liking Yu-Gi-Oh, she <laughs> sold all of my Pokemon cards to get Yu-Gi-Oh, and then I realised how much they're all worth years later, and yep. it's irritated me to this day. <laughs> Probably why I buy Evolution so much. It's like, um, wow, these are reprints, not worth the same amount of money, but yeah, they look mate, the same. I'm a huge fan of Evolution, so that's the only pack of Flash Five I've ever opened. Wow, and I pulled and that. You pulled that. I that's... pulled that. That was in the Metagross EX collection box. Yep. Uh, I bought it on eBay for only 70 quid. It was still sealed, and it was wow. three years old at that point, and that bad boy was inside. So, awesome. Just um, goes to show you that sometimes you've got to put your heart in the cards. You do, literally. You've got to mix them, Yu-Gi-Oh, for days. Um, I used to collect that before moving on to here. Yep. So I've got a fairy collection. I've got wow. a couple of Guardies. I like the Sylveons. Yeah, Sylveon is really irritating. If you play the um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, to evolve that Pokemon, it's really irritating. There's the Hyper just there. Wow. Nice. Yeah, he's great. Some people disagree with playing Sylveon in Guard of War GX variant decks, but now that you've got more steel things like Dustman running around, if you do play competitively, it is a must. You have to get your Gallade out. You're never going to be able to get your cards ready to be able to beat them. So that's very important. Um, and on the side, I also collect Full Art Trainers. Wow. So I've got, I think, 41 individual Did ones. Did this come from the Geek Lab UK? Nope. I uh, traded that off a friend. Um, right. A friend called Heather. Shout out to Heather. Hello. Uh, she shout pulled out to that. Heather. Shout out Heather. Um, she pulled that one. So I've got the XY Premium Collection. Um, Heather pulled those ones yep. and she pulled that gorgeous Guzma. Wow. So I have a Guzzi. Out of these ones before, I can tell you right now, because obviously like, people have seen my channel before, I've pulled Howl, I've pulled nice. Gladion, I've pulled Halla, I've pulled Lily. Nice. Um, I think the best one I did was um, the full scheme Giovanni. Oh, you got one of those yeah, as well? Was yeah, that, yeah. that in here? Yeah, no. I saw that in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I didn't trade that one in here, actually. I traded that with Freddy Pokemon. Shout out Freddy Pokemon. He He's one of the people that goes down to the um, Green Goblin. Is that Freddy Saunders? Uh, yeah. He's one of my best mates. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, hey, everyone, up, knows, everyone knows everyone. <laughs> How you there, doing, here mate? we go. Yeah, yeah, no, I traded that straight to him. Um, I've been trading with him over a year. I met him in here about a year ago, funny enough. Um, near enough, the same sort of thing. I was buying Pokemon products. Lovely. Yeah, he's my favourite. Yeah. He's my chorus. It's um, awesome. Shout out to uh, 8 Bit Planet. Wow, I've never seen a full art looker. I've got the look at. Yeah. Um, the it's, shiny and well, inverted. This but. one is quite literally a looker because he's quite off cut. But must my friend Steven <laughs> who pulled that one Shout out to inside Steven. there. Shout out to Steve O. It's for those. But yeah, and I've got four of them. Uh, Freddy's actually got me a Pokemon fan club held back for me. So that's my fifth one. Oh, nice, Ultra Prism. And nice. I still need the Cynthia. So obviously, you're not going to want to trade your Cynthia's because they're like £100 up to well, 80 to 100 They're like nuts expensive. Yeah. But if you have one, let me know. I want it. Should be awesome. Um, other than that, we've got a couple we've of normal ones. So I've got all six prisms. Obviously, okay. they are bringing out new ones. So you've got, I think, two coming out in Forbidden Light, which I believe is Dancy, and there's another one. Yep. Um, you've got so there's the Dragon Storm subset, which has got Lance in as well, which is really cool. And you've also got the new, uh, well, literally got announced like three days ago. There's another subset called Champions Road, and they're yep. bringing out even more prism oh, cards. Wow. There's like two per set because they're all quite small. There's mm -hmm. like 80 to 100 cards per set. Wow. Uh, so there's going to be another six. Um, there's going to be even more gold cards. I've got both. Hammers. Yep. I'm very much lacking them as I've barely even started collecting oh, these guys. I had, pretty I, much. I had um, so. the only one out there was train um, bodybuilder, bodybuilder 
Bodybuilding? Yeah, yeah I, I got that. I've got that one twice. That was pretty cool. Oh, that's um, what you got. I bought what's... that hair, yeah. so that must have been yours, mate. Yeah, that was mine. Yeah, yeah, I bought <laughs> that one. Shout out to me. Everyone ends up like, oh, and then, did you buy the Nest Ball here? No, I didn't. Oh, that was right, like, that. I pulled that. I like, I like this, though, because I'm going to speak to people. I'm like, did you buy this here? I'm like, yeah, you got that from me. I got tons of stuff. Yeah, So explain about this card. I've These ones are called A spec ones. So basically, they came out during the black and white era. So they came out between Plasma Freeze, Plasma Blast, and a couple of the older ones straight from Brown. Force. Yeah, not Phantom Forces, no, it was before these okay, ones. Okay. So these ones are all like the black or white era with like Getsis and IRS and ones. So basically you're allowed one ace spec card in your deck. They're expanded only now. They're yeah. not quite in Legacy, I don't think, but I don't play Legacy, so don't quote me on that. But the most popular one's Computer Search. If you ever played the original card games, it's literally the Computer Search, basically. Okay. So discard two cards, get any card from your deck, put it in your hand. It's a little bit good. So you can only put one of those in. Uh, Scramble Switch I use for my Yveltal EX deck because yep. it's a turbo deck, so you can just be like, bam, kill anything with Yveltal in one hit. Yeah. So it's really, really useful. Um, I am getting a computer search in the next couple of days, I think. Um, hopefully, my bid wins, um, <laughs> but we'll soon see. <laughs> but I'm watching one of those. The prices have come down a little bit because Expanded is unfortunately not quite as popular at the moment. I have no idea why, because I think it's amazing, <laughs> but it's really good. But they're really interesting. I think there's about uh, 10. I think there's about 10 of them, but I haven't collected them, so I don't know. Okay. But I got that purely for your belt all. Um, there's a couple of cool ones. So they were all plasma themed. So there's a couple ones for Genesec. There's a couple ones for Kyrum. Yep. Uh, it was like Crystal Wall, G Blaster, G Booster. But the main ones were Scramble Switch, uh, Scoop Up Cyclone, Computer yep. Search. And yeah, so they're really amazing. What would be your uh, favorite? Bo- what would be your favorite booster set? My- Booster set. Oh, Shining Legends. Shining Legends? Yeah, Why? yeah. Just because of the pool rate? Or? Shining Rayquaza. Mm. Favourite Legendary. Really? Okay, fair Favorite enough. Favourite Legendary. Otherwise than that... Um... You not pulled the back to tank? Oh, I pulled the back to tank Mew and that was from here. Really? Yeah, I bought nice. a Shining Legends Mewtwo box, funny enough. Um, and I bought a Pikachu box. Um, go and check my previous videos to see that. Um, and yeah, up. literally it was, I got to the last pack and I was really irritated because I got two just normal shinies and I was like, oh, okay, this is mm-hmm. just gonna be a bad box. Opened it up Shining and me. yeah, I, lo- I lost my mind. I'm not gonna <laughs> is that lie. there's the one over there? There's the one in the cabinet over there as well. The, um, if 18 pounds I've if put, you want it, guys. I've, 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 well, all the pretty much about six or seven Shining Mews because I was doing Shining Legends for a little while nice, just because the pools awesome. were so good. I was yeah, getting they're amazing. quite a few. I just like it because like, there's a couple sets where you're like guaranteed a hollow, but it's just, it just done such the a good, good job thing that I like the with the gorgeous yeah. in them. So it's like, it gives a little bit of a taste as to how good Wizards of the Coast actually were. Mm-hmm. But if you were to pick my favourite set, base set Team Rocket. Yeah. Yeah, it's 11 car packs. And then probably Gym uh, Challenge, um, yeah. whichever the one which has got Rocket Scyther in it, because that's my all time favourite card. I, yeah, I know you're on Rocket about. Scyther. I believe it was Gym Challenge. It's terrible, I should really know that, but there's just so many of them. Yeah. But Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge, Rockets, uh, Moltres, Zapdos, Snorlax, Mewtwo, Hitmonchan, and then Scyther. Hmm. Best six cards ever. The art is gorgeous. The amount of decks I beat with Rocket Scyther was amazing so that's my all-time favorite card hands down for that have you ever um, played in any of the local like pokemon tournaments i occasionally go to 8-bit planet up in bristol because i'm based in bristol but okay. i don't have a lot of time to go unfortunately and play uh, i mainly run metagross and steel decks i'm working on dusk main at the moment mm-hmm. amazing card you should definitely give it a look up yep. um, i like the garbador variants some people like using magnazone from Ultra Prism. it's a pretty good card but i feel like it's a little bit slow and clunky just my personal play style. I like to negate things, kill things, and Guzma. Mm. Guzma everything. Guzma's it's amazing. amazing. But um, yeah, no, that's my personal play style. And this is just bits and bobs of my decks. So pretty much what was on. the one that you traded with me today? So was that was a Blastoise one. Yep, so he's in one of my other set. These are all my set folders here yeah. for just bits and bobs. It's okay, really, we've got several, several sets. Several. Of... I always go to town when I come here. But uh, yeah, these are just all my spare promos. Again, I've only been collecting since last May. So I had all the originals somewhere no idea yeah, where they they've are. just kind of disappeared they're in my parents attic and i have no idea where they are so they're probably all moldy and horrible but one thing i have managed to reclaim was that charizard um and obviously i managed to get this on ebay a couple of days ago which is awesome it's one of the black wow. star evs yeah i remember that the oh, art wow. is gorgeous I, that's something i was gonna so ask you pretty. do you have a promo from the original uh, pokemon movies uh, the Dragonite Mewtwo and all those. Yeah. None. I really want Pika. Pikachu's uh, the one I really want. I've still got my Mewtwo. You still got Mewtwo. Still got my yeah, Mewtwo. you can pick up an Eevee for about two pound a pop, something like that. Yeah, it's just, too bad. it's just the nostalgia for it, man. Oh, I just yeah. I, every time I pick it up, I just Definitely. remember the first time I watched that movie. There's another one of my favorites. Wow, fades. that is so pretty. Yeah. 
Mega Ray Quasi X and Roaring that. Skies. Is this, uh, I've only ever opened two packs of Roaring Skies. First yeah. pack I got Secret Rare versus Seeker. Second pack was that. Okay, cool. So I should probably buy a booster box, not all BGEXs. So. Are you going to be one of the people that's going to be buying a Nintendo Switch for the new Pokemon game that's coming yep. out soon? The Hands RPG down. game that's going to mm -hmm. be coming out? Hands down. I'm still trying to get like leaked information, but I can't yeah, find anything. The second I get more things, I'll give it like a month or two, so it's not like boom, massive like full retail bundle price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll be picking one up, definitely. Of course. I want to play. You got it. It's Pokemon. Yeah. You got, you got, you got to get it. It's Pokemon. Of course you've you got to catch it, them all. Yeah. And if you don't get it, well, then you missed out. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's a little taster of what uh, daily in the life of if you collect hyper rares, they wow. uh, mean you have no money. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's very, that is very true. They are fairly expensive, but I mean, they hold their value really nicely most of the time. They're really gorgeous and uh, they're just amazing. You just blind people on the first page. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Give me Instagram a shout out if you wanted to. It's Drazerac TCG. And yeah, uh, yeah GMG News. Thanks uh, for watching that. Sit down. Yeah. If you like this video, hit follow and subscribe. Um, obviously, give a like, it really helps out. And give a comment. If you want to comment on your favorite card from my personal collection, let me know and I'll reply. Anyways, guys, so big shout out to the Geek Lab UK for letting us film here once again today. Um, but yeah, didn't really expect to do this video today, so <laughs> there we go. Another video, I walk around, I meet people, and it's yeah. nice to know that my cards end up with uh, everyone. <laughs> Have a good day, guys.